this video I'll explain the special video modes in Magic Lantern and how they improve your video quality. I have used these video modes in my Canon EOS M with very good results. First we need to understand, how the camera is processing the video. Canon EOS M has an 18 megapixel APS-C size sensor, which is 5184 pixels wide and 3456 pixels high. Before the camera can record the frames to video, the picture size needs to be reduced. Camera takes pixels in groups of 3 by 3 pixels and reduces the size to one third of the original size. In the normal video mode, camera takes the pixel in the middle of the 3 by 3 pixel area and leaves the rest of the pixels out. This method is called line skipping. But this line skipping method creates aliasing in noir. What are aliasing in noir and why you want to get rid of them? Aliasing is the zigzag pattern you see in many horizontal lines in your video. These are really visible, if your subject is landscape with buildings, handrails or wires. Noir is visible in shirts with stripes and also in brick walls or tile roofs. Magic Lantern has two special video modes, which helps you to improve your video quality. These modes are Movie Crop Mode and 3x3 Pixel Binning Mode. They are available in the latest experimental build of Magic Lantern. You can select these modes in Magic Lantern Movie Menu. In Movie Crop Mode Magic Lantern takes all pixels from the 3x3 pixel group and does not skip any pixels. This 1x1 one one pixel binning method takes pixel area from the center of the sensor. Therefore it has also 3x zoom effect. 3x3 three three pixel binning mode combines all 9 pixels to one larger pixel. As this mode takes pixels from the whole sensor area, there is no zoom effect. No pixels are skipped in this mode either. Based on my experience I can recommend all EOS M camera owners to use movie crop mode. It gives you very smooth workflow and the best video quality. Only downside is the 3 times zoom effect, so you need to use wide angle lens to shoot wider landscape scenes. If you are interested to find out more from Magic Lantern and how to use it in your camera, both YouTube and Magic Lantern website are excellent sources of information.